drawing your attention to a story, I believe it was in the New York Times, two teams of scientists have published studies on Sunday, that would be yesterday, showing that blood from young mice reverses aging in old mice, rejuvenating their muscles and brains. It's long been um, theorized that this might be the case. Experiment indicated there were compounds in the blood of young mice that could awaken old stem cells and rejuvenate aging tissue. Likewise, the blood of old mice had compounds that dampened the resilience of young mice. Studies centered specifically around a protein called GDF11, which was abundant in young mice and scarce in old ones. This is just, uh, I mentioned this both... uh, because it is a curiosity, and also as a programming note, if you notice that Mayat and Michael seem to tire quite easily in the coming uh, weeks and months, it may have something to do with the new transfusion technology that we have installed in the office, whereby I will be receiving... (laughs) It was very alarming to see an IV underneath the crying John Boehner poster. Yes. It was, it was kind of <laughs> astonishing addition. We are just uh, moments away from starting our own experiment here. We just need to get some rubbing alcohol. <laughs> and uh, those elasticy uh, things that um, make your veins pop. So if you uh, notice a uh, spring in my step in the coming months, it will either be because... Matt and Michael's blood will be teeming through my body. (laughs) Or some of you have decided to become new members at the Majority Report. It'll be your call. I may tie it directly into how many pints of blood I take from you uh, to on a given week will be in direct inverse proportion to how many new members we get at any given time, which you can sign up for at majority.fm. Please become a member. (laughs) There you go. There's Matt's plea. I had to to skip WrestleMania. (laughs) 